Four months later, somewhere in the Midwest. Hank East. <laughs> you fucking idiots. Frank West. Am I under arrest? Possibly. Leaning towards yes? That depends. On? How will you work with others? Oh, well, shit, that's never been my strong suit. <laughs> Just kind of stuffy in here, don't you think? It's a little fresh air here. You know. <laughs> I really thought that would work. All right, well, it seems I have some time on my hands. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I know who you are. Colonel Brad Park, commander of the ZDC. I'm up on my zombie news, thank you very much. Of course you are. Well, then you also know that the ZDC's mandate is to respond to zombies on US soil. Yes, and confine and silence anybody who knows the truth. I'm all up on it, thank you. It's happening again in Willamette. What is? An outbreak. I didn't see anything in the news. How long has it been going on? Going on six weeks now. Really? It's a long time to silence an entire town. Not for them. Who? Oh. The Pentagon. Oh, shit. What did you see there? You know what I saw. Nobody knows, Frank. The only reason I found out is because somebody screwed up and passed me a top-level report. This reservist training center, I have yet to see anyone who's actually stationed there. All communications in and out of the town are gone. Hell, the satellite photos have been updated in four months. It is being covered up. But... <clears throat> All that pales in comparison to the mystery of why you, Frank West, are teaching a goddamn night class instead of being two steps ahead of me on this. I quit. You quit? Yes, I quit. Do you know how many outbreaks I've been part of? How many I've covered? And what thanks have I got? Huh? Nothing. No thank yous, no flowers. Just a contact book filled with dead people. National Headliner Award 2006. You exposed the first zombie outbreak on US, so I photographed the whole thing. You got some medals, a few letters behind your name. Honorary, of course. Yeah, but let's get to the point. Three weeks later, I tried to expose the Pentagon and the entire US government for their involvement with it, and they buried me! Because you didn't have sufficient evidence. Come with me to Willamette. We expose this bullshit. And you do it right this time. Frank. Frank, there's a lot more at stake here than just one town. No. I'm out. Whoever breaks this, they're in for some big gains. Maybe even win back something. But actually, I'm surprised that you let an amateur rip this up from under you. What the hell are you talking about? This is one of your students, isn't it? Uh. Ooh. Uh. Um, I think you. Whoops. <clears throat> Very familiar music. <laughs> I like that. Wow. Just us? Hell of a team you've assembled. <laughs> Coming up on Willamette. How are me and Frank always on the same page? these hoes. 
There's no way this is just U.S. government being U.S. government. Capture kill. Your discretion. This is all very familiar. Look how the game flashes for like a hot second and then goes away. <laughs> Every time there's a loading screen that leads into gameplay. I've got a bass guitar, that's good enough for me. I'm glad it tells you when you crit, because I would not know otherwise. Not that that's important, anyways. I would just assume I'm doing hits that do more damage or something. They are, in fact. They are among the worst. <laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah, machete melee my way out of here. If I've learned one thing in Dead Rising games, it's that, uh... Ranged weapons really have the, a time and a place, and, uh... It's rarely when you think it is. <laughs> All right. We need cover. That hotel looks good. Eh, three stars are best. You ever stop clowning? I should take a good look around. No. Fine, he does not. The hotel. There's a whole ass hotel in here. This mall is wild. Hold on, I hear survivor. I knew I heard a survivor. Woo! That hurt. Thanks for nothing. Damn. Hit him so hard he clipped into the ground. Where are you? Saving someone. Hello? Oh, fire axe. I ain't hanging around. Fish launcher? Screw this, I'm out of here. Interesting. Clearing out emergency shelters provides. Where'd she go? This is so weird. A lot of pineapples back here. I'll take that. Unbelievable. This place is crawling. Weren't these people vaccinated? Yes, they were. Required by law. Nationwide. Doesn't make sense. Huh. So there's vaccines against uh, the zombie outbreak. What is so great about this fish launcher? It looks like hot garbage. have a tuna I guess it it like does like continuous damage but I, I don't know doesn't seem very useful to me I gotta get rid of this treasure chest how do you drop items oh my god okay relax <laughs> or I guess how do you throw items better idea. 
because as soon as I go to like the throw shoot, it goes straight to this, which is Sorry. not ideal. Stop for Samosa. Samosa? <laughs> Long mission. No, I was saving somebody and I got a fish thing out of it. Hey! Hey! Come over here before they see you! Some familiar ass music too. Uh this UI is hot garbage, but okay. Unlock slow health regeneration at very low health. Interesting. Oops. Unlocks critical hits with ranged attacks. Okay. Items on the ground can be included in crafting attempts. Interesting. So you don't need to be holding everything. That is very weird. Um, I'll take the health regen, which is like kind of booty <laughs> that this game has health regen, but at least it's at low health. All right, grab a gun. I got a shit ton of them. You have a blueprint, my friend. Oh, the good old Blambo. I know that. Yeah, those are the music from Dead Rising 1, isn't it? Fuck. Uh, hold on, I'm thinking about this. Combo, Lambo. Sure. Can't believe that worked. Can we get a room? Separate beds, though. Oh, <laughs> you're hilarious. You know, technically speaking, you'd be our first guest. What do you mean? Are you guys from out of town or something? All this shit started on Black Friday. Friday, which not coincidentally McMahon. was the day after the grand opening sale. So you are probably one too. One day before it got destroyed by zombies. We gotta move. That door lead to the maintenance hallway. Yeah, but the manager locked himself in there when he got bit. Been trying to bust it down for like ever. Huh. That's our enemy. You are done. Hey, hey, we got trouble. Cover me. Who are you guys? Okay. God damn it! Who are these assholes? That's what I'm saying. Center. Get on it! It it's literally I've been here for like a day and I have to deal with soldiers already. Oops. Those are zombies. I can't see shit. Thanks. Well, like I said, there's a time and a place for ranged weapons. This might be one of them. I really don't want this fish launcher. This thing, this turbo turds. Perfect. Perfect. What the fuck? It's just a big old coin. Man, I am already sick of this place. <laughs> oh, is this uh, scrap that I've been hearing about? Hold on, I was grabbing some scrap. There's assault rifles. Military axes. I'll take them. Ah, shit. You were an asshole, Ted, but you didn't deserve <sighs> this. I'm Connor, by the way. <laughs> I was going to say, that's got to be a pretty good photo. I'm investigating the outbreak. You know anything about how it started? Mm -hmm. I know these military assholes were guarding something super secret near the mall front entrance. <laughs> Menu music for this game is just wild. Uh, what did I get? I got a key. Huh. All right. There's this journalist. What journalist? And she had a boy's name. Can't remember. Vic. Vic. Where's Vic now? She was holed up in the mall security center for oh, a while. I can get I glasses. Nice. 
that man had a shotgun. What happened to it? Who took it? Which one of you idiots grabbed it? We should head for the security center. Might be some weapons there. Good plan. Except I'm going solo. What? What? Well, this outbreak is almost certainly some kind of test. It's probably run by these military jerk-offs. And now I need to find out why. And I'm not going to be able to do that with some flatfoot holding my leash. No offense. All right. I'll head into town. Look into relief efforts. You learn something. You clue me in. Yeah, if I get time. Oh, right, was that key marked on the map? Forming out in West Ridge. I'm gonna join up and kill a few more of these pricks. Later, bros. Good luck to you, Wes. <laughs> You're very relaxed for what's going on. Luck I got. What I need is a big, wet, juicy scoop. Bros. Okay, so is this what that key I found unlocks? The electric wreath. A wreath plus something electrical. Okay, that's simple. I mean, I could literally make that here, but... Oh, and I got a skill point. Uh, fortitude is always very important. Increases max health. Increases stamina. Improves dodge movement speed and responsiveness. Increases amount of healing grant from eating food. I like this. Improved dodge. It's either health or dodge. Like, it, it's got to be one of those. I mean, there's also survival. You achieve hit counter milestones. Ooh. Okay, I'll do that. Because I want this. <laughs> More experience is always better. Okay, because I have what? Do I have an electrical thing in my. Oh, wait, no. Oh, and I found out how to drop stuff. Look at that. Ranged weapons, thrown weapons, melee weapons. Oh, because I do have uh, something electrical. Nice. I was completely unaware that a bass guitar was electrical. But alright. That solves that. I have an electrical wreath now. Ooh. <laughs> Gems. Miami. What the fuck? Sure. Let's try it. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. I cannot believe what is going on. How is this an actual, like, side quest in this game? <laughs> Alright. I am so grounded! And in the lead car, Frank West, beloved photographer and just generally awesome guy! I appreciate the change-up. Wow. I appreciate the different side quests. It's not just about uh, survivors now. Let's try it. The kilowatt. I am out of here. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. What? What is the combo for this? Uh, go kart plus shopping cart. Oh. So that's, it's literally giving me this as my reward. Okay. Hold on. Get out. I can combine these. That's so wild. Ah. Uh, Stop that now. I got bit for the first time. I literally have like an electrical field. This thing's nuts. 
This is so cool. <laughs> All right. Connor says Vic's holed up at the security center. You gotta find out what she knows. Then I'm gonna kick her scrawny ass out of town. Uh. <laughs> I saw the explosions afterwards. It's like, no way. What's your problem? Hold on. I'm reversing. <laughs> Assholes. Hostile survivors. Interesting. How are you throwing these at me this early? Like, that's normally the kind of stuff you'd see late game, right? And the other ones? It's just like right out the gate, you have to deal with other survivors that are trying to kill you. This thing rips ass. I want one of these. For like real life. <laughs> Can I go down here in this? I doubt it, but oh hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, we have a side quest. Clear out the shelter? Oh, I guess I'll have to go back for it. Whoa. Did they create a new okay. strain of it or something? Used to take days. What the hell was that? Yeah, that was an instant. Press Y until target is done. What? <laughs> Clear out emergency shelters to unlock vendors and to provide a safe haven for survivors you meet out in the world. Vendors sell goods such as combo weapons or maps in exchange for scrap. Recruiting survivors will level up the emergency shelter and improve vendor in inventories. Most shelters are on a network connecting them to the Megaplex. Clear shelter and you'll find Megaplex access door in the basement. Okay, so this is the equivalent of safe rooms uh, for two and three. Maybe this is the shelter that I'm supposed to be clearing out. God damn. Cool. It really does not smell good in here. <laughs> uh, Mall emergency shelter shave. Two more survivors to level up. Interesting. Okay. How's the weather out there? Glad I'm not out there. Clothes vendor, food vendor. Interesting. Okay. So you can uh, pretty much get whatever you need from ve vehicle vendors. Yep, those are popular. Been here you know anything about a reporter named Vic? Uh, yeah, yeah. She was holed up in this room for a while. Left some of her stuff here. Go on. Yeah, she has a, Take a look. picture of me on and that hey, dummy. I owe you one, pal. I was running a shop here till someone left the <laughs> goddamn front door open. Uh -huh. You need something? Come see me in a few. All right. It's Vic's handwriting on the wall. Must be the place. Yeah, I was thinking about this. Hmm. Everyone's a critic. I'm guessing that's this. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> Need the password. Oh, yeah, oops. Make it out. Front entrance. Huh. Okay. The Chu was here. But now she's not. White Rook Zombie Safe Key. Huh. This is military hardware. It looks like Vic's been using it to upload reports. All right. So the outbreak started at the mall's front entrance. And Connor said this PMC was guarding the entrance. Well, I think I need to go take a little look myself. 
Yeah. What? Heard you talking to yourself. <laughs> if you're heading to the front entrance, you should take the garage towards Medieval Village. Every other way's been sealed off since the military showed up. Careful though. Those idiots with the gas masks have built some kind of stronghold out in Medieval Village. You go, you better go ready for a fight. Better stock up while you can. Huh. Okay. Uh, vendors are rescued survivors that are willing to sell what they found while surviving the city. Weapons, vehicles, blueprints, and more can be purchased. The more survivors you save, the more items become available at the shelter. Save as many as you can to unlock access to rare items. Survivors sell their wares for scraps, so make sure to collect as much as you can along the way. Search every corner because you never know what you'll find. Okay. <clears throat> Got some good supplies. Map of Megaplex, blueprints, newspapers, fix uploads. Are these all just collectibles? Panic room keys, podcasts, cell phones, zombie tags. Oh my god. Where's the hit count required to perform a skill move? That's interesting. I mean... It clearly wants me to buy this because it only costs one scrap. So, I'm guessing that marks blueprints on my map, or everything. Glad I'm not out there. Um. Okay, I know I have some skill points to spend too. Don't worry. I'm getting to it. Yeah, I'll say I, I should get rid of this or use it. How big is this game? So there's the mem the Willamette Memorial Megaplex, which is basically like a giant mall, and then there's the entire surrounding city. This game's huge. It's like the same scale as, uh, I guess, Dead Rising Three. Um, this looks very not good. Whoa. These guys run. And have a lot of health. Um, are all zombies going to be like this? Because if so, I, uh, I would like to file a complaint. No, so it's just the ones with the red eyes that are like that. You like that? <laughs> like I could just toss this car around. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'll take the Molotov. I think. Uh. I think I can get rid of that. We'll take the sword. <laughs> and there's a burrito too. But we'll pass on that. If I remember right, swords used to be pretty good in Dead Rising games. I remember it was always like a priority to get to the blade store as early as possible. Like uh, Dead Rising One, get into that uh, get into the the samurai swords. Kill zombies, free survivor. Okay, easy enough. Oh man, let's say I could have. Yeah, that could have been better. These guys are reacting to nothing. 
There we go. Are you done? Did I save you? Uh, I learned my lesson. I'm heading to a shelter where it's safe. A sledge shaw? Sure. Oh. Let's say uh, my health was a lot lower than I thought it was. I am gonna get my ass bit off if I stand out here too long. Crap! <laughs> this isn't any better. It's also dark. Hello? I made it back right. to the mall. Got something you might be interested in. Vic Chu has been using obscure terminals to bypass the communications blackout. Yeah, I think I saw that. She's been uploading some kind of report. I found her first one. Let me play it for you. All right, Vic Chu, day one. Willamette is lost. Full scale outbreak, the horde is everywhere. Thousands, maybe tens of thousands dead. These paramilitary assets are just a piece of the puzzle. The government did this. And when I prove that, when I amass the masterminds, well, maybe I'll convince even the mighty Frank West that journalism is worth more than a fat paycheck. Shit! That's about a month old. Shit! He's way ahead of me. I'll try to find some more. In the meantime, keep an eye out for those terminals. Park out. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are dangerous. Jesus. Holy moly. Yeah, I might die. I had a feeling. Fresh infected are so aggressive they can actually end up harming themselves. What? <laughs> so yeah, armed survivors are rough. They definitely uh, are a pain in the ass, especially since they have guns. All right, let's see what we can get. I definitely want this. Get bonus experience when you achieve hit counter milestones. That's very nice. Um, oh, requires level 15. Where you can distract all objects in the world. Now is a chance to drop scrap. That's pretty good. Increase food inventory. That's real good. Uh, when crafting combo item, there's a chance that scrap is generated. That's pretty good. Increases the speed and effectiveness of sneak kills. Um, I feel like this is good just because it means money will be dropping more often and then this is good because more healing is always good and then I don't feel like I, I craft combo weapons often enough for this to be worth it but oh, it leads to more inventory slots damn I guess I'll get crits with ranged weapons might as well I'm definitely going to be using ranged weapons against uh, psychopaths if they exist in this game and against the armed survivors if I can. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I will see you guys. How do you save? <laughs> do you save at toilet still? Clearly not. Huh. Uh. Uh. Interesting. How do you save in this game? Interesting. Maybe I just haven't unlocked save yet, but e even so, uh, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Dead Rising 4. <laughs> Bye now.